From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. My name is Anarkul Bekirdinova. I am 37 years old. I have three daughters and two sons. This daughter is Aydana. She is five. And the eldest son is 17. My husband's name is Dutkasi. Together with him, we are grazing livestock. For centuries, Kyrgyz nomads have roamed Kyrgyzstan's inner Tian Shan mountains. They have survived the harsh climate by following the grass and the rains, moving their portable homes, or yurts, through the seasons. But today, as Kyrgyzstan's grassland deteriorates at an alarming rate, they face an uncertain future. Anarkal and her family have been noticing abnormal changes in their highland pastures. Fir trees are becoming more rare and the water is decreasing. Changes in climate have occurred. The surrounding glaciers never used to melt during the summertime. Now they have dried out. Now such glaciers have completely disappeared. Last year we had dry weather. There was no rain and the grass dried out. Because of the dry grass, the livestock suffered and provided less milk. Some of the livestock died, and the mares had fewer fall, so we have a smaller herd. Life has never been easy for the nomad families, and changes in the climate are making things worse. According to a 2009 Kyrgyz Republic's report to the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change, the country's arid and semi-arid zones are predicted to double over the next hundred years, possibly drying out highland pastures. The deterioration of the pasture began in Soviet times, when too many livestock were grazed in the mountains and when shepherds were steered away from traditional practices. In the former times, we kept strict pasture schedule. Now we also try to do this, but some people don't follow it strictly because of lack of technical means and economic resources. As the pastures become increasingly vulnerable because of climatic changes, Dudkasi says more than ever there needs to be a more coordinated effort in grazing the land sustainably. We have winter, summer and spring pastures. We have to choose the right location of pastures for breeding, such as which pastures to use when it rains and which pastures to go when it's hot. The rotation of pasture is to give time for the grasses to recover. To adapt themselves to the increasingly hot weather, shepherds are also changing their grazing times. Drawing on their traditional wisdom, Dudkasi's family is doing their best to adapt themselves to the changing climate. They are moving further and shifting their pastures more often by adhering to the traditional practice and rules that have helped their ancestors feed their livestock and themselves through the ages. Dudkasi and Anarkal are hoping that through incentives that support traditional practices, the grassland will survive to sustain their centuries-old way of life. We are united with the forest and nature, and nature is united with humans. This report was produced by Ivan Golovnev and Sit Williams for the United Nations.